A yacht carrying Ernest Hemingway's grandson sailed into a Cuban port Monday, a seaside village where the acclaimed author lived for two decades and inspired Old Man in the Sea. Ernest considered himself a citizen of Coimar, so this is a very special place. Not only was it for him, but also for us today. It's very emotional to be here, and it's, yeah, it's incredible. Patrick and John Hemingway have several goals on their five-day journey, improve U.S.-Cuban relations, and examine their grandfather's incredibly detailed fishing logs. What our analysis shows now is that during the 50s, the abundance of fish was four times more than it is today. If we had data from the 30s and 40s, from Hemingway's newspaper from the 30s and 40s, that would confirm that. It would be very valuable. Researchers participating in the expedition say Hemingway's records could bolster the fish species that sustain Kojimar. Osvaldo Canero fished with Hemingway in the 40s and 50s. I remember him as if I were looking at him because I have a picture of him in my house. And sometimes I look at it and it seems like he's a living person because the memories aren't forgotten. But Cuban authorities may not grant all of the team's wishes. They declined Associated Press requests to see the fishing logs. They may also rebuff scientists who hope to put satellite trackers on fish caught during an upcoming tournament named for Hemingway. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.